Hi Gleams Nation, my name is Natasha and I'm super excited to help introduce the first Glimpse partnership of Project Action 2020-2021 where kids can make a difference one positive action at a time. Hey everybody, my name is Minha and I'm an Urban Hero Award winning Glimpse Kid from Project Smile 2018-2019. That was almost two years ago now, but it's true what they say. Once a glimpse kid, always a glimpse kid. You're absolutely right, Minha. I was part of last year's Project Gratitude and dropped at the chance to help out this year's team continue to change the world. That's awesome, Natasha. I can't wait to see all the amazing things that the new glimpse kids do this year. I know that even though it's going to be a strange year because of COVID-19 restrictions, the Glimpse Kids will make sure that Project Action still rocks. It's time to introduce our first Glimpse partner. She's a 17-year-old singer and songwriter from the GTA. She goes by the name of Blossom and she's a friend of many longtime Glimpse partners such as Andrew Wilson, Arlene Pakulin, and Matt Zaddy. So that makes Blossom a special friend of the family. It's time that we get to know her better. That's exactly what this interview Glimpse is for. Glimpse, Glimpse kids Michelle, Abdurafi, Hamza, and Brooklyn will ask Blossom a few questions to help us and all of the Glimpse Nation watching around the world to get to know the talented artist. Oh my god, this is so exciting! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Glimpse is proudly to present Blossom! Hello Blossom, my name is Michelle. We're so excited to be able to get to ask you a few questions. Our teacher told us that Blossom is your artist name, and why do some artists use their real name? And why do some decide to change their name? Can you tell us how you choose Blossom? I think it's a cool name, by the way. That's a great question. Some artists have names that are easy to pronounce and are more catchy to say, while others don't really have easy to pronounce names. So for me, I have a hard to pronounce last name, so I decided to change it for my stage name. And I decided to choose Blossom because I have a huge love for Japanese cherry blossoms and I felt like it really fit who I am and relates to me as an artist. Hi Blossom, it's so good to be able to work with you. My name is Adderafi and this is my question. When did you decide that you wanted to be a singer, songwriter and we know you play the piano. Do you play any other instruments? Bye! That's a great question. I actually started singing when I was around seven years old, and I've wanted to be a singer-songwriter since I was really little. And I wrote my first song when I was about ten years old, and then I started training more in theater. And then when I was around sixteen years old, I decided to focus more on singing-songwriting, and I put up my first EP called Vincent. As for instruments, I usually stick to the piano, but I can also play the guitar and the ukulele. And fun fact, when I was around six years old, I actually did violin for a year, which was pretty fun. Blossom, my name is Hamza. If you checked out the glimpse into the life of a child YouTube channel, you must have noticed that we like to share the positive message for poems, books, and songs with others. It's our way of adding some light to the world. Recently, our class has been learning and talking about a poem called Leave With My Heart. It's about sharing the love inside your heart with others simply because you can. Can you think of a quote or lyric that means a lot to you? Can you share it with us and tell us what it means to you? That's another really good question. One lyric that I thought really spoke to me is from one of my own songs, Bittersweet. And it's, I only know what was good when the bad gets worse. And I feel like it summed up the whole song pretty much. And to me it means you don't really appreciate all the good things in life until you don't really have them anymore and things start going a bit downhill. And it gave me this huge realization that you just have to appreciate the moment that you're in now because you never know what's going to happen in the future. Hey Blossom, you're so kind to donate your time to work with us. My name is Brooklyn. I wish we could meet you in person. 
that'd be fun. If we were all dealing with COVID-19, we would surely invite you into our classroom to hang out with us for a while. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to have any visitors into the school this year. I have an idea. Would you be willing to connect with us virtually with FaceTime or Zoom? We would really love that. We can share our poem with you and maybe you could sing a song for us. What do you think of that idea? Please? Yeah, it's too bad that we can't see each other in person, but I love your idea of connecting on Zoom. I'd really love to meet you guys and I'd be happy to perform a song for all of you. I'm really excited to hear your poem and I think it would be so much fun and we'd become great friends. Wow, that was a great interview. Blossom was so generous to accept to meet up with the Glimpse Kids. Yes, that's pretty amazing of her. Also, it's pretty cool that she decided to listen to the Glimpse Kids, read the poem, Lead With My Heart. Hey, Minha, Blossom recently posted something about the Glimpse Kids and attached a really inspirational song to her post. This song is called Brave by Sarah Bellis. This song would be perfect for Glimpse Palooza 3. I wonder if Blossom will be part of our celebration in June 2021. On behalf of the Glimpse Kids, I would like to thank you Blossom for accepting to be interviewed. It was really fun getting to know you. Thank you all so much for having me here and asking all these amazing questions. I had a lot of fun today and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you everyone for watching. Remember that you can make a difference and should make a difference. So take an action, any positive action to make this world a better place. Bye for now. There's joy. This has been a Glimpse production. Thank you for watching.